Alright, welcome back. This will be part 3 of our Honest Deck Review series. We will be playing Mono Red Ape. I am ashamed, disgusted with myself, and my parents are disappointed in me. But, before we get into it, if you find yourself coming back to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Small act for you, huge deal for me, and it's greatly appreciated. But, let's get into the deck. Now, obviously a lot of people play mono red to a ridiculous amount and i want to go ahead and apologize to everybody for playing these five games of mono red and adding to that horrible horrible oh i'm sorry but this deck touts a 63 uh 63 win rate so we will see how that goes um i hope i lose every game but what we're gonna run is the Kamano Faces of Kakazan. Obviously, you know, I mean, ah, do I really even need to go over this? I mean, everybody's seen it a billion times, but though we'll go quickly. Uh, the Swift Spear, Monstrous Rage, ugh. Phoenix Chicks, Play with Fire, Bloodthirsty Adversaries, The Charming Scoundrel, Felden, Lightning Strikes, Squee, Dubious Monarch, Twisted Fealty. I actually like that card. Uh, Urbrask Forge. Godric Cloaked Reveler. Ugh. And Witch Stalker's Frenzy to get rid of the big stuff. Uh, lands are very simple. You know, Soakin' Zen and Mistress Foundry. It's pretty simple. You just play cards and drool. That's all you gotta do. So, without, uh, any more talking crap about Mono Red, I'll go ahead and shut the hell up. Let's throw down some cards. Okay, Old Souls, our first opponent. I'm very sorry. I hope you uh, completely dumpster me. Opponent goes first. Uh, okay, let's think like a Mono Red Ape. I don't think we keep this. Not enough burn. Okay, plenty of burn. <laughs> oh, man. This is a thing. All right. Just play random stuff. Attack, and that's it. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Pretty brutal for the opponent. Oh, he's Rakdos, okay. Oh, yeah, we keep that. And it's, unless he can do the 20 damage now, it's over. that and I guess a mono red move would be just a burn I I'm sorry old soul I'm very sorry well I got the win and I feel like I feel bad I'm sorry I'm sorry guys all right our second opponent Gafodling. I hope you destroy me again Goodness, this is a good hand to damn it. Mm. 
Yeah, we can't let that thing live, unfortunately. Would have rather have liked that to go to the face, but what can you do? I agree, buddy. I agree. I 100% agree with you. You can spam it, man. I agree. I guess we could take another land out of our deck. Yep, I am sorry, Gafodling. I am sorry. I am sorry. But if I get this out of the deck review way now, then we won't ever have to do it again. I am sorry. I apologize to everybody. Should not be adding to this cancer. Alright. With him you? With him you? I don't know. Again, I'm sorry, my friend. I should not be... I, I'm sorry. I'll be saying that a lot, I think. Uh, I hope you beat me. Or is off. I like it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I, I already feel awful. But this deck should be able to beat me. things are dangerous. Fealty could be pretty good. Oh, but that forge, oh my god. Yep. 
board is going to run away with it. But he is playing white sword, so he can. He probably has a way to destroy it. Stick safe. GG's. Sick playing this deck. I'm I'm sorry with him with him you. I'm sorry. Mushachi, Mushachi. I don't know, but I like the name. All right, pony goes first. We definitely keep. Him up just a little bit. But if we keep drawing land, we'll probably be in some trouble. Dang it, another one? Holy shit. Probably should have played the foundry there, but. Killing. That's really good. I haven't seen anybody actually play the Kellen, so very exciting. Can't block the flying, so it's pretty much over. All right, Moshashi, I'm sorry. Okay, our final opponent, Nacho Lavaria. Okay, again, I, I'm sorry. We go second. Sad day. <laughs> but I hope Nacho Lavaria actually destroys us. We need to get destroyed. We cannot go 5 0, please. Fading hope. Potentially. No, not yet. Oh, the mirror, that's why. Alright, let's see if we can get a counter up. I imagine he's got a counter. Or a way to destroy a creature. Cut down, go for the throats. You got something.
Okay. Three damage on him from that, right? What was it? Discarding the card. Discarding the card. Probably smart. And slip out the back. What, what could he possibly be doing? Ooh, mind link mech. Great card. Okay, so we'll hit some damage there. Trespasser. That's a thing. You could mindly mech it, but you leave yourself wide open. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Clearly he doesn't think it is either. This doesn't really matter what we take. Smart move, smart move. Ugh, we drew the land. Not good. Pulling cards out of his hand. Move, land. Oh, that's probably game right there. Yep. Let's see, charming scoundrel. Ain't much left we could do, really. Good game, my friend. Thank you for beating me. Hell yeah. We didn't go 5 0. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lavaria. You are a legend, and people will remember you. Alright. That is the last game, so let's go ahead and jump to the deck review. Okay, let's go ahead and give this thing an honest review. It sucks, it's cancer, and your parents are disappointed with you if you play this deck. But, in all seriousness, it's an effective deck. It's just... Ugh. 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 Mono red players. Ugh. Ugh. 
but at least it's out of the way now and I'll never have to play it again. Thank God. Okay. As far as the deck goes, though, there's not really much that can be changed. I mean, I'm su I suppose you could drop a little bit of something for something else or whatever, but as it is, mono red is mono red. It doesn't change very much or often, you know, especially with this monstrous rage bullshit. Oh my god, that's annoying as shit, but it is what it is. I can see why people play it, but... You're a horrible person if you play this. And tonight, I am a horrible person. And my parents are definitely disappointed in me. But I would like to apologize to all my opponents. I am sorry that I played this cancer. I, I truly am. But it's out of the way now. I'm never going to have to play it again. Thank goodness. Uh, as far as the, the rating of this deck goes, my heart tells me this is a solid 1 out of 10. But that would be unfair and biased. In all actuality, if we base this on ease of play, which this deck is like brain dead simple, like you have to try to fuck it up. You, you have to go out of your way. So it's easy. We can give it that. Is it fun to play? I think, I think that's going to be subjective. For me, no, it's not fun to play. I hate playing this. I feel like an awful person for playing it. So that's going to be low on the scale. But effectiveness, as it does tout the 63% win rate, and that's very true, as I got much higher than that, uh, it, it is effective. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to be fair. And I think the final verdict for the deck is... A no, 7 God, out of 10. Please, no, it's no. good. It's easy to play. And I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy playing it. I just don't. So factoring all that in... Easy seven. Easy, easy seven. But I guess people pretty much expected that. Uh, I basically am just going down, you know, the highest percentage decks and working my way down. And as it changes, I'll play those decks then too. But if there's a deck you'd like to see me play and review, uh, leave it down below. Uh, be interested. If you have a homebrew deck, hit me up, man. I'll, I'll run your homebrew deck. That'll be fun too. But that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, especially made it this far. You're a true legend having to ugh, go through the vomit-inducing mono red. You are a legend and will be remembered for watching this the whole way through. But other than that, I'll get you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.